<laughs> I just see a lot of YouTubers do that. <laughs>while it's tough to imagine a more insidious and evil piece of legislation being forced down the throats of unwilling Canadians than Justin Trudeau's censorship bill, C-11. If Justin Trudeau can control what Canadians see online, then of course, he can control what Canadians think. That's why those great paragons of liberty, you know, Russia, China, Iran, they love this sort of thing. They can't allow their citizens to see the kind of freedom experienced by the rest of the world. If they do, their citizens would rise up. For those governments, they have no choice. Now ask yourself, if not to control what Canadians see and think, why bother pursuing the royal assent of a piece of legislation which is designed to do just that? And that is opposed by hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Canadians, including progressive liberals. Make no mistake about it, Bill C-11 is an existential threat to Canada and to organizations like True North. This bill could turn Canada into a firewalled third world nation where dissenting voices are completely wiped off the face of the internet, invisible to not only Canadians, but the outside world. And just as Trudeau nears the finish line of seizing control of digital media in this country, the same way he seized control of print media in this country, Trudeau decided to launch his own YouTube channel where he can sit on his desk, roll up his sleeves, talk about how great his government is, and try to not look like a tyrant. Please, please laugh, because otherwise you'd have no other option than to cry about it. It's just that bad. Drop a like in the video, help us out by subscribing to the True North YouTube channel, and the common question for the episode is this. Would you be prepared to go out in the streets and protest the government over Bill C-11? Let me know. And let's get into it. True to form, the Justin Trudeau liberals last week shut down debate and dissent on their censorship legislation. Here's Liberal government House leader Mark Holland seeking to do that while conveniently the House of Commons was empty and when nobody was paying attention. I move seconded by the Minister of Health that in relation to consideration of motion number two, respecting Senate amendments to C Bill C-11, an act to amend the Broadcasting Act and make related and consequential amendments to other acts, the debate not be further adjourned. Understandably, the only people in the House of Commons who seem to know what is really going on here, the official opposition, were outraged. Uh, closure means that they are shutting down debate. Now, I find this rather interesting because really Bill C-11 is a censorship bill. So we have a government that it has moved a censorship bill, and now they are moving censorship on that censorship bill. So talk about a government very committed to censorship. They're not only wanting to censor what Canadians can see and hear and post online through Bill C-11, but the government is also wanting to censor us as opposition members and our ability to speak about this bill. Even Margaret Atwood, no Conservative, has said that this bill represents creeping totalitarianism, oh. creeping totalitarianism. It gives the power to a woke agency, the CRTC, named by Liberals, to manipulate social media algorithms in order to shut down voices it does not want people to hear. When will this government realize that Orwell's 1984 was not an instruction manual? Given that, of course, Justin Trudeau's paid-off legacy media journalists would be the ones who ultimately benefit the most from this censorship legislation, they're not really interested in covering any of what's going on here. Open Media, a registered nonpartisan nonprofit internet advocacy group, describes Bill C-11 this way. Bill C-11 expands the Broadcasting Act that grants the CRTC regulatory powers over radio and television to cover all audiovisual content on the internet, including content on platforms like TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, and podcast clients. Under Bill C-11, platforms must also make CanCon discoverable by filling our feeds and search results with a mandatory quota of official CanCon content or face stiff financial penalties from the CRTC. Now, what exactly is official CanCon content? Well, the name might suggest that it's Canadian content, but I can assure you this broadcast right here, the one you're watching, won't fall under that official CanCon category. That's because, unlike the legacy media who are paid off by Justin Trudeau to propagandize on his behalf, this show and True North isn't interested in doing that. So because of that, will we be granted the special status of CanCon? You all know the answer to that. At its core, the biggest concern about Bill C-11 is the fact that the CRTC, a government regulatory body, would now have regulatory authority over user-generated content. That would be your activity 
online. Canada's top YouTubers, artists, authors like Margaret Atwood, who's definitely not a conservative, former CRTC chairman and experts in this field have been warning that this is the express intent of the bill to regulate your online content to make sure that only official Canadian content gets pushed forward and your content, which wouldn't fall into that category, gets regulated. And because the Trudeau liberals think you're an idiot and you won't read the legislation, they use their propagandists in the legacy media to tell you that the government has no interest in regulating your user-generated content. But that isn't what the legislation states. Section 4.1 says that the CRTC may make an exception to regulating your online content, but then Section 4.2 reestablishes censorship over your content if any piece of your content earns revenue indirectly or directly. By the way, that's any piece of audiovisual content that is successful on the internet. But to put all your fears to rest, the federal government has been insulting you and your concerns about Bill C-11 by routinely telling people they aren't interested in regulating your cat videos. Does he believe, as the leader of the Conservative Party, that it's the government, the Bloc, the NDP, and the Green Party trying to prevent individuals from uploading cat videos on Facebook? Now, I know if we blocked access to cat videos, it might cause a lot of problems for the conservative backbench who have a very short attention span during question period. And the CRTC has been very clear. They have no interest in regulating the cat videos put up on TikTok. This is not you uploading your cat video. Trust me, I love cat videos. I can watch them all day. After a day here in the chamber, I love a good cat video. So then why was it there in the first posting, place? Why, why, posting. why was it there in the first place? Going after people posting pictures or videos of their cats. Some even going so far as to say cat videos will be taxed. Despite the fact that the government tells you they aren't interested in regulating your cat videos, i.e. your user-generated content, everything the federal government has done since the introduction of Bill C-11 would lead any normal person who's been watching this to think regulating your user-generated content is the sole focus of the federal government. Understandably, the government doesn't want you to know that they are regulating your user-generated content. But when two Trudeau hand-picked senators put forward an amendment to the House of Commons to expressly prohibit the regulation of user-generated content, the Minister of Canadian Heritage, Argentinian-born Juan Pablo Rodriguez, flatly rejected that amendment. In fact, there's not a single thing the Canadian Senate can do to change the legislation. Just watch as Juan Pablo Rodriguez, Canada's El Censor, tells a room full of industry experts last month that any amendment to Bill C-11 that will, quote, impact the bill, would be rejected. Are there amendments that you've already looked at that you have decided to reject? Uh, well, we'll see when the bill comes back because I can't, it's in the Senate. I don't, don't think the senators would be They've talked a lot about so, what those amendments are. But uh, there, there, there are amendments that have zero impact on, on the bill and others that may have some and none, those we will not accept them. There, there, there are amendments that have zero impact on, on the bill and others that may have some and none, those we will not accept them. Bill C-11 is being supported by every single party in the House of Commons, except for one, the Conservative Party who have promised to repeal Bill C-11 if elected into a majority government. But a very telling moment occurred in the House of Commons a few weeks ago when a Quebec separatist Bloc Québécois MP, Andrian LaRouche, told the House of Commons and Canadians at large that if C-11 passed and it suppresses freedom of expression for Canadians, you know, Section 2B in the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, but at the same time it promotes French language content, then it would be worth it. Then the Bloc Québécois would vote in favor of Bill C-11. If violating freedom of expression means ensuring that Quebec content is well represented online, well, the, then that's worth it. Quebec separatists are willing to throw away your rights to freedom of expression if it means satisfying the calls of their Quebec lobbyists. It really makes you wonder why we even allow separatists to sit in our federal legislature. A normal country, of course, would laugh at the idea. But if you weren't totally humiliated yet by the federal government, Justin Trudeau had one more trick up his sleeve to really make you feel like a serf subjected to the authoritarian whims of an out-of-control, tyrannical government. As Canadian YouTubers and Google themselves shout from the rooftops to get Justin Trudeau to stop Bill C-11, to stop this attack on the freedom of Canadians, Justin Trudeau took this opportunity to launch his own YouTube channel. I'm on YouTube, Justin Trudeau shouts as he suppresses your right to freedom of expression. You'll find videos about the budget process, 
the new Canadian dental care plan, the grocery rebate, and much more. Check it out here. And be sure to subscribe so you never miss an upload. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss an upload from Dear Leader while I make sure to suppress every other Canadian YouTube channel so you don't get to watch what they have to say. But make sure you watch my channel. Now I'm not allowed to use the words I want to use to describe Justin Trudeau's decision to launch a YouTube channel while he also simultaneously crushes Canadian YouTube for all of us. But I can assure you, you and I, we're thinking the exact same thing. And this is what aspiring YouTuber Justin Trudeau has to say about the launch of his YouTube channel. Just look at how normal he is, guys. Isn't he relatable? Hey everyone, I'm here in my office on Parliament Hill, which is where I get a lot of work done, uh, where I hold a lot of meetings. Just a few steps away is the House of Commons, which is where we uh, have debates, we pass legislation, talk about the issues of the day, uh, answer questions from the opposition during question period, uh, and a lot of work gets done. But there's a lot going on in politics. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of it, which is why we're launching this YouTube channel. This will be an opportunity uh, for you to see some of the things that we're doing and hear about why we're doing it. And as we all know on YouTube, really important, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll talk soon. <laughs> I just see a lot of YouTubers do that. He has, shockingly, unlike the CBC, left his YouTube comments open. So, we're gonna read some of them. Welcome to YouTube. I expect the commenters will be unkind to you. You deserve it. Hope you're reading these comments. Resign. Reported for hate speech and misinformation. I guess his videos didn't meet the criteria of things to force Google to censor within Canada. Weird. I have a feeling that Justin Trudeau's YouTube channel, probably gonna be just fine. Now for the time being, the comment section under Justin Trudeau's videos on YouTube is still open. So if you wanna have a good laugh and a good chuckle, take a look at some of those videos and perhaps maybe let him know what you think in the comments of his videos. But also, reminder to let me know in the comment section of this video, whether or not you would be prepared to protest in the street over Bill C-11. That's gonna do it for us today on the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Harrison Faulkner and this is Ratio. <laughs>